Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this GRM comfort bike seat. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here's the seat. So this seat is for someone who prefers a wider, more cushiony seat. So this has memory foam on the top here. You can see there's a groove down the center and a hole in the middle here, so that can help with ventilation. On the bottom we have these large rubber springs, so that gives you extra cushioning. So since these are rubber and not metal, they shouldn't be noisy like some metal springs can be. So this has two rails, so this can clamp to your existing seat post, but it also comes with the clamp on there too, so you can clamp that on. So this has plastic on it that is bolted on, and then it has this synthetic leather here, and it has this orange stitching. I really like the look of this orange stitching, I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to mount this up on one of my bicycles, and then I'll take it out on a test ride. Then I'll come back and give my thoughts. Okay, I have this bicycle here. It's kind of a trail bicycle and it has a seat on it that's seen better days. It's kind of falling apart. The surface on it has gotten really rough and it has a lot of wear. So this is a similar class of seat where it has the springs in the back. So I think this would be a good replacement for this. So to take it off, we have two bolts here and they're either 9 16 or 14 millimeter. You can use either size. So I'll just take this off. So now we have the bare seat post, and I put this on here. Now, I took this all apart to get this on. I took the bolts out, I slid this out, and put it in. I couldn't get it to slide on while it was together. So I'll slide that on top. It's super loose right now. So this bike is up on my bike stand. I'll get this kind of tight, but then when I get it on the ground, I'll make the seat mostly level, and also make sure it's pointing directly towards the front stem. So now I'm going to tighten these bolts. I want them to be about even. You can kind of see the middle stud here. So you want that to poke through about the same on each side. Now this stud is square in the middle, so you can tighten one side without the other side spinning. You don't have to have two wrenches. Okay, that's feeling pretty good for now. Once I get it lowered down, I'll tweak it a little bit, and then I'll give it a final tightening. Then I'll go take it on a test ride. Okay, so I went on a bike ride with this, and I'll say it was very comfortable. It provided lots of support. It was very cushiony. It didn't squeak or anything as I was pedaling. So this is a little bit wider seat. So this seat could be good for someone who has a wider bottom or someone who just wants more support. I didn't do any off-roading or anything with this, but on the trail I go on, there are some bumps. There's some little uh, places where the path has come up and it creates bumps. And this smoothed it out very fine. This bike doesn't have suspension on it, so it can feel a little rough at times going over bumps in the road, but this seemed to soften them quite a bit. So if you're looking for a wider cushiony bike seat, this is one you might want to consider. So that's the GRM Comfort Bike Seat. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.